Okay, you guys, the countdown is on. We have just over a week before Halloween. As we know, though, spooky season is in full swing. And one family in Hampton, Virginia, is sparing no expense to celebrate Halloween. Ellen Ice takes a look at what thousands of dollars in scary decorations can buy. Even in the daytime, it's a little creepy, but that's what the Woods family is going for. We do this to create a safe environment for the community to come and enjoy uh, Halloween and have somewhere to go that they can get candy and be scared and all the good stuff that Halloween is supposed to be. And when the sun goes down, the scares come out. It's, it's really cool during the day, but it gets way cooler at night because we have fog and you have lights and black lights and everything glows in like a different way. The Woods family spends thousands every year on decorations and each year the display changes. I would spend whatever to see the look on the kids faces and the adults faces when they bring their kids. It's just enjoyable. Whether it's a haunted doll, <laughs> a skeleton dog, the treasure of your deepest or just jack-o'-lanterns. There's something for everyone. And come Halloween night, the display will be even more over the top. It's going to be scary on Halloween. How cool. I love it when people like to go above and beyond and I give everybody a, a good time. Oh, yeah, I probably wouldn't go. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not going to your haunted corn maze. I'm not going to the haunted walk. No acres of terror. Right. Actually, having that background behind us as we were chit chatting <laughs> brought me back. That because was scaring you. Ziggy DeWolf scared oh, yeah. me. Remember? Yeah. Oh How my god. Yeah. That was my first interview with a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> like interview with a vampire, but <laughs> yes. with a werewolf. Yes. Oh my god, you caught it. I got on. it. I got yeah, it. Yeah, that I was get good. Something. That was good. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Coming up next, we have cooking with Cashway, and then keeping the spooky vibes, we have a look back at Bonanzaville's paranormal tours. Those are still up and running through the end of the month. So we'll take a look back at that with Sophia.